Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today's video is just going to be a short little video I said I'd do. Oh, some jobs we do around, well, a job we do every day. Oh, oh this is hard for the head to do Just a little job we do every day to get our best out of our bullock. So, I'm just going to do a short video today of what we actually feed our bullocks. Well, say that, the stuff I'm feeding them at the moment is actually for finishing bullocks. It isn't. So, I feed them stuff for finishing. They are kind of only weighing yes. But, we we have to, we find it does a good job on them. So, these, now, please somebody correct me in the comments, I should have looked over this, but I, I think high energy and low protein, hold on, stand up my camera, and I'll get my ration. Okay, so basically what we feed our bullocks and our farm keeps our nice fat and processed. Rolled or crushed barley. I was going to do the bag outside and do it outside, but it, it, all this fell off and barely nearly went everywhere. This is um, actually flaked. I was actually pricing around to see where it was better. And I think the rolled barley is better value, but that's what the flake looked like. I'll give you an update when we get back to the thing. So they're on very little. There's eight or not, nine of them there or eight, and they're getting whatever this black bucket is of it, so they're getting a good couple of scoops, and you can get this in anywhere, it's about, it's eight, nine fifty for a 25 kg bag, and then eight fifty for a 20 kg bag, but I rather the 20 kg bag, because you can't get 25 kg bags of the rolled barley. So we're just going to fill that up nicely there. I just tried to do like a cool transaction, transaction, but I, but I knew you would have seen me going down here. I must figure out something in this later video. They're all excited. Got a fairly decent little bit. Just your average barley. So you send that away. Uh, we're tipping away through the bales and the bucket there. It's okay for a minute. We'll go over and show you the bale stack. Anyway, so it has, it's a nice weather. I know you'll be saying in the camera, like it is dry, dusty, 
but it is freezing and then you have a big shower of rain every couple minutes every half an hour so no point to take it off the jacket because it's going to be back on um, oh yes a job we are going to try out next year on our bales is dun, dun, dun. okay see all the bales You know, this way like every other farmer does and I was watching some of I farm we farms old videos I, wonder, I always wondered why he used to stack them like that or the other way you know kind of like like these but like upside down kind of the, look the face here was touching was on the ground and we did do it once over in the corner about 20 bales, but then so I got out of the camera. Uh, and we're going to chance it this year. Uh, and he was basically on about how the water drains out of a bale are way easier. But our bales don't have water because they've all been wilted and tethered at least once or twice. But if it's supposed to increase quality, because any little bit of mist, moisture, heat, even that'll flow straight out. So we're going to try to stack them too high here, but the other way around. And I'm not going to say anything. Oh jeez, there's a new thing coming into the yard. There's a... There's going to be something touch wood here for summer. That's going to help us out. Put the bales that way. So I'm going to say... Oh no, I never said it. Anyway, nope, nothing else much happens. Uh, but we did get a good bit of urea out there last week. Just the good old big bags. Oh, cat up in this hay. But yeah, it's nice stuff. Fresh bag, lovely and soft. Bag of sawdust here. This will be used for under the cows. It's very flaky. It feels very flaky. Even like off the camera, it is very flaky. Where was my sis? Cat on top of the that bale there. Yes, yeah, so um uh, yeah, that's kind of it for today's video. I just said I'd give you a quick little update around the farm to show not much has really happened. Just cows in. Oh cows did go out. I'll put that actually here now at the end of the video, you can see that. Cows did go out for two days. Well, one day and three hours last week and they haven't been in, out since because there's supposed to be a flood next week i think so they're all happy after they're barely i know you're saying oh geez that isn't doing nothing to them but do you you might remember buffalo and all those bullocks that we used to have here the bigger lads but when we sold them they were only eating ration for the past six weeks well eight weeks but if you could get them on a small little shake all the time oh sorry even just the smallest bit all the time would do the world of good and you can see the silage smells like banana bread oh but chopped it's just and that was wilted for two days tethered and wilted so like that is like the gourmet silage. Uh, dung heap is growing, but nothing too bad. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, that's it for today's video. If you did like the video, if you give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll reply to your comments. Oh yes. Um, and I need somebody to comment the high energy thing because I know it's either vice versa, but it would be a big hand. Oh. No, I'm just looking at the cow. But um, yeah, if you could please give the videos a thumbs up, subscribe, and help out the videos. And oh, I was we were cleaning out in front of the barrier one day, quick before this video ends. Uh, clean out, and 
I had to draw up in the air. I got the nicest shot of the map, bro. Excuse him. Was I recording? No. And next thing, I, I hit record and the drone falls and hits the trainer. But anyway, that's it for today's video. See you again soon. Bye for now. Also, before this video ends, this is going to be a mad long video, 10 or 11 minutes long. This is uh, one of our fleck heifers. She's looking nice. Right there. We actually three calf. Uh, I'll try to get the rest in another video. Bye. Oh, as well. Anybody else like fleck bulls? Because we love them, obviously. But I'm trying to convince Jory to get one. Because I'd rather fleck over a poly. So everybody comment Jerry Fleck. I always get people to comment it. Bye bye.